Look at the size of these freaking snow bangers. It is ridiculous. And they're talking about more snow. Today is Thursday. Uh, Jesus. Thursday, February. I believe it's the second. Uh, check the phone here. Yeah, February 3rd, I'm sorry. Thursday, February 3rd. And we have snow bankings that are so freaking high. It's ridiculous. I mean, some of these things are 10 feet tall. Uh, personally, my own snow bank is in front of my house. I'm gonna put up my uh, video of my snow blower in action, but I'm up over my fence. My fence is a good size fence, probably I don't know, five feet or so. I'm up over my fence. I got nowhere to put the snow. I try and see if I can borrow my neighbor's bobcat and push some of it back, but I'll get back to you guys in a few seconds. Gonna stop in, grab myself some smokes. Alright, so anyways, grab myself two packs because uh it's snowing already. And they're saying that we're not supposed to get much out of this storm. But that's what they say all the time. And here in New England, they can't get the weather right the day after it snows. Uh, so you can kind of take a look, see out the window here, and it's just fucking dinked over. I mean, I come out my driveway, I plow, well, I'm sorry, I snow blow my driveway, and then I, the town doesn't push it back, so I push back about, oh, at least three feet front of my house, try and give the cars a little more room to come down. So on the opposite side of the street, I got a buddy that works for the town here, in Barrico where I live, and I asked her, I said, is there any way you can talk to somebody and just get a loader to come down and push the other side back a couple feet? I tried doing it with my snowblower, I was going to do it myself, I'm not trying to be lazy, uh, but it's just ice, solid, can't break through it. So I tried getting one of my neighbors, oh, well, he's actually a neighbor, he also works for the town of Barica. Um, I work for another town. And I said, uh, is there any way that you can get a machine up there to just kind of bang it out a little bit, just so I can get out of my driveway, Could I back up and I hit a snow bag. Uh, you're supposed to get a machine over there, but he never did, so I'm still dealing with... Sorry, you gotta fucking have a quick chooch. Uh, trying to get him to push it back so we have some place to back up so we can get out. As you can see, if you look along the side of the road, you look at how high these bankings are. I mean, they're as high as my truck. You know, and I got a Dodge Ram 1500. You know, with the Edelberg Performer IFS shock, so it jacks up a little bit. No lift kit, but still, it's just absolutely dinked. Uh, I unfortunately have spent the last couple of days sick, so I missed out on plowing the last couple of days. I've just been in bed, and my daughter comes down this morning, and she's got it. Uh, school district has a two-hour delay. It's just absolute horror show. I mean, they gotta do something. It's it's getting really, really bad. And the poor kid's gonna be going to school in the middle of August just because of the way that the, uh, the snow is. We said they get the ramps cleared pretty good with the. They salted the ever loving bejesus out of them. And coming onto the highway, it looks like we're probably going to hit a conga line. As I showed you guys before, we get these conga lines. Go across the highway, they salt the piss out of them, plow them. That's how they do it up here. Uh, but Man, we gotta do something with the snow. There's no place to go. And the other sad thing is, uh, if you guys have watched some of my flooding in Berica videos, when uh, the snow does melt, we get flooded pretty bad. I mean, there are certain areas. I used to be a uh, part of. It's actually part of FEMA. And I was a police officer for them, and we'd go out and try and uh, get people out of their homes that got flooded so bad that they couldn't uh, get out of their houses because the, 
heat, we just get so much water. If this stuff melts fast, we are totally pooched. Uh, I showed you some of the bridges before. The bridges are already, you know, you can normally get a boat right underneath them. They're already high because of what water does spill and stuff like that. And definitely going to be late for work today, unfortunately, because of all this uh, snow. But luckily my boss is a decent guy and he realizes sometimes you just get pushed by the pushed by the uh, traffic. I left work plenty early so I could get in on time and just not happening. But uh, I don't know, get back to you guys in a second and see what else is going on. I don't know how well you guys can see me. It's kind of dark in here. bitchy, pissy, moany, beeping, honking, just cutting in and out, being a bunch of jerks. Uh, with any luck, I'll get down to work and it won't be too late. Probably only going to end up being, you know, not even five minutes late, so it's not a real big deal. I always try and get there early, but unfortunately it just... Went out to my truck this morning, the battery was jammed up, wouldn't start, so I had to pop the hood. And I don't know if any of you guys have this, but with these newer batteries, it seems that the negative post is a lot smaller for some reason. I just bought a brand new battery from uh, AutoZone for this truck because I put a new rear end in it. And uh, the battery posts are so small that, you know, I squeeze them all the way down. I still got to put a nut or a bolt or something in there just to take up the extra slack. And it still uh, doesn't seem to always want to grip so working on that I don't know what the deal is if they're making the negative smaller nowadays or what it is but the negative is definitely small the pause the positive isn't even cranked all the way down and the negative is uh small I always got to put something in there so that's some bullshit there you go for Mike uh read me at the mic a little bit of bullshit there's my number one bullshit thing that pisses me off uh all right, guys, we're just going to keep cruising to work. If I come across anything good, we'll let you guys in on it. All right, tubers, here we go. 128, 128, a lot better. I can actually get up some speed on this thing. And people on the tank on this highway, it seems like two, three people are always tanking. Screwing up, I'll be uh, 128. Traffic is flowing. Bye. 